It's 2023 and the migrant crisis in the United Kingdom continues to escalate as the UK border force announced that yesterday saw the busiest day in Kent so far. On the one hand, it's getting a bit tiring, uh, completely repeating similar updates, uh, but it's not really similar because the numbers are going up. On the other hand, it's, it is very important to keep repeating it. And then because of the repetition that we've done on this channel and Nigel Farage back in 2020, when he were around, he, he went to Kent, he went to Dover, he went to the hotels, migrant hotels. He put pressure on the mainstream media. We put pressure on the political class to actually start talking about it. That was a good start, but nothing is being done about it. This is the biggest issue that we have. So Kent, Dover, all these areas are seeing a massive, massive escalation when it comes to the border crisis. We're still having Romanians coming in. We still have many others who keep claiming to be from the conflict zones, but they're not clearly. Everybody is somehow suddenly from Afghanistan. Everybody is suddenly from Ukraine, but they are not. Yesterday, we had 10 boats uh, that brought in 422 illegal migrants in one day. Completely crazy how there is absolutely no appetite, clearly no appetite, to do anything about stopping them. One thing is about deportations. That's one issue. And there's this legal challenge happening with the Home Office. One other thing is about cooperating with the French. <laughs> cooperating with the French. Oh, what a fantasy. And of course, the other thing is about just completely protecting our borders. None of that is happening. We're still waiting for some sort of new legislation, new agreement, new taxpayer money being wasted to be sent to France uh, or Rwanda or wherever. This is one issue. But we have to talk about these things. Please tell me, when you read these headlines, this headline, for example, you do not feel disgusted. It's absolutely disgusting. A, a so-called asylum seeker from Afghanistan claiming to be a child claiming to be 14, I believe, and then causing trouble, actually causing harm in our country. This is the guy. This is the guy, uh, Lawanjin Abdul Rahim Mazi, um, who was claiming to be 14 years old. How do people think he was 14, by the way? Because it's quite weird what happened here. Because obviously he then um, decided to cause trouble in our country. And this poor man, Thomas Roberts, who's going to be in armed forces, has now lost his life because of that evil, evil person. And we're just still simply not doing anything about these sort of things. There's a problem with national security. There's a problem with just basic sanity of our country, of our culture, of our identity. But no, we're going to have some serious statements and serious tweets being sent out by the Home Office, by our Prime Minister. And that's it. You're just going to continue every single day. Let me know what you guys think. Amaya Tusi and we are the media.